Yo gang, what's going on? I'm the Blue Ranger and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. So we're done catching up. This is, this is, this might be the very tail end of chapter four or episode four, however you want to look at it. I'm not sure, but this is where the beginning of everything from here on out I haven't played yet and I'm really looking forward to it. So we're going to start up right now and see where we left off. Hopefully Tell me you've got it's a not ending right oh, now. Oh yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a real doozy. <sighs> Let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. All right. Hey. Hey! Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Putting this horse down. Why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Stop looking. Why is it bleeding? No, there's there's blood. Why is there blood? Why is this statue bleeding? Just filled with strawberry jam. <laughs> I like your optimism. Oh, is there a real horse in that? Did they cast a real horse I in told diamonds? You just get arrested and meet me. Wait, wait, see there. Vaughn. Vaughn. Askers! I lied. I think I've seen this part. Time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that ten million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Ah! Smoke them. I love this. I forgot about this. Oh, I I actually shoot, that's right. I love the finger guns. This is amazing. Got him now. Get him! Bring it on! Bring it on! Bring it on! Batter up, bitches! You're not allergic to lead. <laughs> Definitely a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> a 
<laughs> that Hollywood style death at the end there. Really selling the finger guns. I was gonna say, they're gonna start getting up slowly now. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh. Hey, you. Alright, well, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I think she said release. Release? Yeah, like, hey, release me. How pathetic. Right. Except what she apparently said was, Oh, hi, Release. Things are going great. Yeah, that's a weird sentence, isn't it? So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. That's confidential information that I can't divulge. Just hand over the prisoners and stay out of the way. I don't understand. You know, you must not be a big fan of having a job. Questioning one of your superiors like this. No, it's not that. It's just strange is all. What's strange is that you're still standing here. How about you go take an early lunch and I'll try and forget this insubordination. Or would you rather I just fire you on the spot? Leaving now, sir. There you go. Nice job. All right. So, what is this plan exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just got to figure out a way up. Oh, yikes. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting mulched by a death machine? No, that's that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. But now I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait, we gotta go up that scary dark... Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. Okay. Huh. I feel like this is just gonna be a trap door. And we're all gonna die. Like, it opens up beneath us to get rid of all the blood and guts. Or it's gonna work perfectly and I'm an idiot. Alright, I get it now. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me, just climb on up! Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh no, this is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. Unclear, but it's all we've got, so there's that. Well, now can you get off I'm overflowing with, with confidence. That's the spirit. All right, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Come oh! Holy shit. How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Try not to Reese, die. you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that tuking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice 
robot. You heard her! Blind! Blind! Waiting for it. You got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave me the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. You don't want to go rogue and throw Vaughn's life away, do you? Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you... God, so dramatic about everything. Oh, X, 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 and we did it. Hey, first ones ever. We climbed up, we're in one piece, we're in the office, everything's pretty good. Which means something terrible is about to happen, I'm sure of it. Okay. Yeah, see, I just had an achievement pop up, so we're definitely in new space now. I thought that that new dead stuff looked new right there. <laughs> Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. Yeah, we My did. Office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know why I stood it for so long. Cause you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. Something like that. Wow. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Well, what's up here? Is that a Death Star behind us, or is that oh, Pandora? Really no rush here. This Take it easy. Soak in the sun. Opus. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Oh, it's the moon! I gotcha. What uh. is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype. But it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just... Not what we're going for. No, not the same. Not the same. Immort immortality and uh, and death. Not not necessarily the same thing. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her. But <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to that check looks like out. Tiny on Tina. Her. That's cool. Would that be Tiny Tina before she went crazy? I mean, I'm sure people know the answer to that question. And I'm just here speculating because I don't know the lore that well, but... Welcome to my trophy case. Huh? Got a couple of killer relics. A few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> Delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Okie dokie! Definitely not! Oh, this? This shotgun is legend freaking dairy. <laughs> What's well, a conference call? A conference call because you're gonna want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. Conference call is a fun weapon, if you're unfamiliar. Let's do this. Uh, what about this? No, let's go. Oh, I it. Okay. What's I this? Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. Great. It looks like it should be it. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Oh, I still have the face in my inventory. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there.
I don't think I should trust this. And with that Gordon, so this is where it all happened. If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. Okay. Well, let's sit on this. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What is he offering? What is he saying right now? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! How are you doing? Gordas, come back over here. Pick up the broom. Can I wait? I guess I have to grab it. I guess I didn't have to let go of the handle. Oh, that's a terrible idea. I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. What we deal? Oh, shit balls. Oh, farts. Oh no! She got busted. So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? It fixed Pandora. There's some good people down there. And they deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we could rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override. Oh, port, shit. So. Um. Oh, what a. What a choice! If I rule Hyperion, then I'll probably become scum, but my friends and I will all escape. Uh. What happens to Vaughn? Will I have the power to stop them from killing Vaughn? And if I reject Hyperion, where is that going to leave us? Here goes nothing. If you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! I'm hoping you, to like fix the system, I guess. Are my favorite dude. So what's next? 
There it is. That's the executive override port. Check in, and this will all be yours. Check in. You get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. No. It's been a long time coming. After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted. Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. Kiss my ass. You died alone. No friends, no family. I am not gonna be you. You don't deserve to be me, you piece of shit. <sighs> I'm not gonna let them, because that might have been one of those things where they're trying to get that thing out of my head. So you really don't have a say in this. Rick, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. Oh, that poor sweet Fiona. All good. Just, Just getting, getting into position. position. <laughs> What's going to be doing? <laughs> oh, shit. just happened oh it's real bad oh we done goofed oh you and 12.7 percent of players honored scooter as a space cowboy you know i feel like the biggest one was the catch a ride sign but i don't know i like the space cowboy one you and 38.3 percent of players let your tour group get vaporized i mean I probably shouldn't have let that happen because uh, the door shut, and I'm sure there was another way around that, but you and 71.7% .7 of players shot an innocent diamond pony. So most people shot Butt Stallion. All right. An innocent diamond pony. I, I don't, I'd like to know that there's got to be an explanation to what happened there. You and 9.4% of players blamed the sisters squabbling. Well, that's weird. That's like the smallest percentage on anything. The 12.7 is a close one, but of all of my time playing these games, 9.4% is easily the smallest I think I've ever had. You and 64.7% of players knocked Yvette out, as is tradition. You and 52.6% of players chose to reject Hyperion because I didn't like the idea of having it stamped into my head, which it happened anyway. So when the truth is of dubious benefit, a white lie might smooth things over, but for how long? But that is the end of this episode of Tales from the Borderlands. Thank you guys so much for coming by and checking this out. Please, if... But thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. If you have any comments about what happened, if you did something differently, if you think I did something wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. Share this with your friends. Go check me out at twitch.tv slash on the Blue Ranger Monday through Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or stay right here for more uploads just like this every day. Gang, thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one.